Hello? Diamond in the rough, I don't know what it is they see in me. Go down as a legend in my city, cause we beat the streets. Trying to spread the wealth around the block, no, I can't keep from me. Told me I should leave. I see the bigger picture and it's way bigger than me. Can't be living like a king, but my people need to eat. If I got it, then you got it, we gon' get back on our feet. And I put it on me. What is going on, Real Squad? And welcome back to the Real Flix channel. And this is the court, part four, baby. Man, look, if you have not seen the last episode, I'm gonna need y'all to go on ahead and head back that way. I'm gonna need y'all to go on ahead, head back, watch episode one, two, and three before you even dive into episode four. Cause I'm telling you, things got crazy the last episode, but we're not gonna sit on this manuscript for too long. So we can talk in the game. So without wasting more time, y'all, let's get into this. Yeah, 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 we're back in it, okay. Yep. So, what the hell did Crazy you because we thought that these two were dead. At least I did. Okay. Think, Laura. Think. There's got to be something in here you can use. This is where we ended episode three, guys. Yep. I, I, it's crazy because, like I said, I thought that they died at the end of uh, episode one. At least it looked like they didn't it. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creep. What does that mean? That's weird. But I'll tell you guys right now, we, we, we really getting into the meat of it now. We're about to find out how she survived this. And then she, for two months, what was she doing the entire time? That's my question. Is that a spoon? It looks like it's a bench, but it is. Why is there... Ew. Why is there a spoon a up spoon? there? Making noise, probably, to try to alert somebody? But where's she even at, though? We don't even know if she, this is, like, at the lodge. This could be at a totally different location. We don't even know where. Come on. Sis. Oh, okay. Just one discolored brick. Need some sort of letter. And there's gonna be one just coincidentally in the set. Well, of course there is. I mean, how else are we gonna get out? <clears throat> okay, so I mean, we already looked at the. Th oh, give, give me that. There, me. I'm about to say, give me that. I need that. I want to talk to that damn lady. <clears throat> okay, what am I supposed to? What am I missing? Use the spoon. Can I use the spoon? Take the spoon. That can be used as a lever. <laughs> that could work. You didn't think about. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> oh, yeah, this ought to do it. Okay, but what's going to be back there, though? Her face is ugly to me. I'm sorry. <sighs> yes. You celebrate me, you don't even know what's back there. Look, empty. Okay. Say, so you put the spoon back. Oh, here he come, here he come. Act natural, y'all, act natural. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Uh, Give me a break. I don't think he gives a damn. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Damn. Yeah. Sure. The second you get out. If you get out. <clears throat> Fearful. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, okay. Well, what questions is he gonna ask? Let's just go with fearful. Wait, wait. Well, 
answer your questions. You just can't lock us up in here with no goddamn explanation and expect us to be all butter and cupcakes, okay? Just work with us here. I mean, facts. You have nothing to bargain. Damn. I mean, he made a point too. Hey, you can't just leave us in here. Hey, come back. Yeah, like he really gonna come back. Come on now. So, again, if you guys haven't seen the end of episode three, you need to go back and check that out because it was a crazy episode. Fuck. Bro, Fuck. Nick turned into one of those things, whatever that creature was. I'm pretty sure he turned into it at nighttime. Let's be serious about this. Are you okay? So I need to figure out what's going on. It's just a foot. It'll heal. I meant the interrogation. Oh. Yeah, what do you ask? Yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, Max. What? Why is he. Why is the cop being secretive? He, uh. He just asked a lot of questions. About? A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and I don't know. Because he turned last night. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. So was she knocked no, out ask you? the whole night that he nope. was turned? Huh. Rude. Okay. Can I get up? I can't move. What are we, what are we doing? So at night, when the sun sets, is he going to turn again? And she witnessed it? Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. Hackett? You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh, oh my god, like the Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's the Chris Hackett? Wait. As in camp leader, Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Is he? I mean, I, it's very believable. Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Were we set up? No, it's not that. Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... Girl, we don't get on somewhere with that. I mean, what? Exactly what? I mean, he's not acting like a kidnapper, but at the same time, oh, these decisions are getting harder and harder. Some kind of setup. I mean, he's not really acting like a kidnapper, though. Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but he's not acting like a typical cop, either. Exactly. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. Yeah, facts. He has told us anything. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? So, my prediction... This isn't forever. Let's be encouraging. This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. <sighs> Man. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I don't think Max is too worried about I mean, the damn summer. I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. Oh, okay. See, so my prediction, since she's We're gonna get out of here. made it, obviously. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... Can you hurry up so I can give my opinion? What? I want to narrate. Come on. I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. Oh, damn. She bring up the letter. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. Mm. I found it in your bag. No, you snooped through the bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. Yeah, that's not what he asked. That's not what he asked. I, I was embarrassed. 
your grades were good and you wrote a great essay. Yo, can we hurry up? up with this dialogue? This ain't nothing. This, this ain't giving no substance. Come on. You've been making plans, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? My boy didn't make it to college. Okay, let's move on. How are we getting out of here? Oh. Oh my god. Be empathetic. But come on, let's go. Come on. I'm sorry, Max. This, this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. Hurry up. I shouldn't have kept it from you. Okay, I accept your apology. Let's you go. No, you can talk to me about anything, right? Can, can y'all talk about getting up yeah. out of here? Yeah, I do. Okay, thank you for appreciating my sit. Thank you. Now, real quick before I start talking, my theory okay, let's is. Let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great, sign me up. Y'all should have been focused on this. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the. <sighs> whatever we ran into? Yeah. Yes. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. Oh, uh, yeah, we were getting attacked. What are you talking about? The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal. You remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. Come on, put, piece it together, piece it together. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... No one nobody around. Nobody else around. Exactly. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it, hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by whatever. something, mm -hmm. and then the cop shows up. We still don't even have an official name for whatever that creature is. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I remember <sighs> the steps and Can the we? smell Come on, like all wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. Okay, yeah, I remember that from the episode one. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big. Yeah, like, person huge. Sized big. Yeah, no, it was it bigger really than a person. Did a number on you. Like I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the things keep ripping into you. And thank you for bringing that up. What is messed up about that is, Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. Oh. What? Hey. Okay, so weird question. Do you remember before we got lost? You got lost. Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, huh? yeah, no shit, Max. It happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so Goodness, come on with the you know, dialogue. Jesus. <sighs> yeah. What if, uh, bro? Okay, no. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. It's something. Werewolfish or something. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Oh, werewolf? thank you. Seriously? What the fuck? Oh, so we're back to the present. Cool. What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. She, she lost her Do you, eye. You got anything better? I mean, like zombies, aliens, time hopping Draculas. Come on. Um. Let's be calm. Like you won't. We'll, we'll make Ryan, you. You won't believe us. Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again. You're on your own. <laughs> Thank you. Whatever. Yeah, Ryan, you need to be quiet on this one. Would it really be so crazy with all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With a thing on the roof? Yeah. Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are those are just campfire stories. Like, there mm -hmm. has to be a rational explanation for everything. No. Ryan, for all this. Ryan, stop acting stupid now, bro. Okay, oh. you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced to cleave limb from torso with great haste. Hmm. Where did that come from? You did the right thing. See? She's got a whole poem about it. Okay. 
Look at her arm though. Her arm is jacked up. Showing There's her more eye. All this than you think. Yeah. Can we see? Just let me finish. Then you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. So she obviously I think you hear all of it. She obviously got attacked. You see the claw marks in her face. So yo, okay. The next few weeks were long. A few the weeks? Kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot. As much as we could about what happened that night. Damn. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, so, the camp, the accident, the woods. So they, she the must have escaped very Max recently. Just kept going over it all again. Because think about it, she was, was gone sense. for two months. So she said she was they were there for she weeks. So to get out of there. at the very most, she had to have escaped at least a month ago. My boy over there doing push-ups. <clears throat> so now we're back in the past. We're back two months ago. Back in July. Remember, they got caught up in June. So now here we are in July. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. Probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. Okay, okay. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We well, keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so. So he hasn't turned well, yet either. You have one. That's so, really not very helpful, Max. Why hasn't he turned? He only turned that you one night. Getting something. And then that was it. Oh, oh is it because it's not a full moon? ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, You're Laura. Just, just, so what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one Is stop there gonna be a full time. moon tonight? All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or. We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Oh, man. What if we get on his good side? How are we going to do that, though? There's there's no way we're going to be able to get on his good side for him to just let us go. I feel like we got to be reckless. We got to escape. I'm not going to be nice to this fucker one second longer than I have to. We've got to escape. Cool. Okay. So how? We gotta catch know. him off guard or something, get the hell out of here. Knock him out? Not. Laura, you know that's kind of a movie thing only, right? I mean, you bang someone on the head, you're more likely to kill them or leave them with permanent brain damage, not just knock them out. Well, what can you do? Yeah. <sighs> Determine. Prison break it is. Okay, so, I mean, oh my god, like, we gotta knock, this, there's no way that this cop is gonna let us go, like, he's he's dead set, he's kept us here for weeks, he has no intentions of letting us go whatsoever, he's not even letting us know what's going on, we gonna knock him out. Right, prison break it is. We're not we gonna code knock. names? If we're doing code names, I have dibs on Golden Thunder. No, seriously, Max, we're doing this. Yeah, we we beaten his okay. ass. So my, pr my okay. Can I Here's talk? how it's gonna go down. Next time he opens your cell to take you to get washed up, you jump him, By tackle himself? him down, and take the keys from his belt, drag him into your cell, lock him in there, unlock my cell, and then we'll steal his car and just drive right the fuck out of Dodge. How? Right. Why didn't okay. we do this from That's the beginning? That's not really a plan, though. You know, yeah, that's just kind of that saying, let's escape, but with a whole lot more words. No, he won't be expecting it. We're in a routine now. We'll catch him in the back foot. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. I mean, I get what she's saying, but Max is not strong enough. That cop is going to... That cop ain't... Nah. He's not going to be able to. I don't think he will. Not without, not without both of them jumping him. There's no way. The cop, he, he looked like he, he looked, he, he looked like he's a little strong. Come on. Ah. Uh, 
Yeah, there's no way. How's he? How's he supposed to jump them? No. Ow! Ow! Careful! Really? Careful! Ah! 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 Yeah. Really? Oh my God. Ah, great. Great. Uh, well, what on. about my shower? Max, stupid. Shit. If I knew he was gonna do that. Take your fucking clothes off. Fuck off! Get what? back! Max, what's going what on? What is going on here? Get the fuck away from him! Oh, is it a full moon? Is she gonna turn in that? Come here. Oh, she's gonna he's gonna make her watch. Yeah, he's gonna make a watch. Yep. Ooh. Wait, squirming. Said you wanna be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Yeah. Let me go. Get to watch it. You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Yeah. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Don't get too close. Hey, come in. What's your position? Over. What'd he say? His, his name? Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. No, no. Just just let it go. Down let to go. 20. Over. What's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you. It's not going to be pretty. But don't worry. I'll be back at dawn. You're really going to leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. So, okay. So now I'm putting pieces together. So they turn when there's a full moon. Not necessarily every night. Yeah, so he's, that's why I was trying to get him out them close. So he didn't ruin them. Yep. Oh, yeah. See, so my theory is she gets out of this, but Max doesn't. At the end of it, I feel like she's forced to kill Max. And in the process of that, Max gouges out one of her eyes. Tell me what you're feeling. Now, let's, 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 be, let's be clinical with this. What you feeling? Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Laura, well, right. I don't feel so good. Yeah, yeah, Not we see that. Like how. I don't know, just bad. Yeah, he's looking like Nick. Come closer, let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Yeah, come on. Ooh. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? Yep, see, he's starting to get aggressive. Just like Nick did with Abby. Mm-hmm. So full moon they turn. Oh man. Max. Can you imagine the pain? He's getting in that crawling position just like Nick did. Max. Yep, yep. Okay, what's going on? Come on. Yep, here we go. Yep, there go the teeth. Look at the skin. Pulsating. Oh, yep. There we go. Yeah, he about to bust. There you go. Oh my god. Oh. That's how that happened? Gouge your eye out like that? That's how she got that? Fuck! Yeah, it's gone, girl. Yo! That's how she lost her damn eye. Oh my god! Where'd she get the boots at? What was that? What'd she do? What did she cut? Oh, does she feel like she a badass now? Oh, it's had to be some depth perception. 
had to be days later because she's not bleeding no more. So she stayed in the in the prison? Oh, to talk to the cop. And she left it open to show that she would Let's run away. That bastard cop's hiding. So did he turn back? Okay, so now we know how she lost her eye. But what's... Oh my god! <sighs> oh my god. Jesus. Okay. Was not ready for that. Why was I walk up to the gate? Okay, walk up to the gate. Walk up to this gate real quick. Nothing? Okay. All right, so, so yeah. So at, oh, it's a blood trail. So now we know that at a full moon, they turn. I mean, oh, that's where I was, oh, she was in here, okay. Okay, so, I mean, I ought to take a shower and everything. Found another one of the cards. That's cool, cool. So we found two so far. Alright, what do we got right here? So see he hiding? So she was attacked too. So was she not turned? Do you need to be explicitly like bitten by whatever that creature is to, to convert into it? Okay, okay, okay. Something juicy. We gotta figure something out. Come on. Money. Yeah. Okay, don't celebrate just yet. Come on, we gotta get through it. Get through it. Look at something. What's it say? I shut it down. Can you handle it for me, Chris? Chris! Chris Hatchet. So he does have a relation to Chris. Weren't hikers at all, but ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry. Never okay. to be again. Like us. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah, 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 blah part. We're, we're more like um, ghost investigators. Specter slits? Hey. Sure. So what happened next? Well. According to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby. So that's the lady that's in the woods. That's the lady. Okay, well, what is the lady of the woods? How does it tie into what these creatures are, though? What's happening here? What, what do we? Ooh! Y'all saw that? I know y'all saw that, because I saw it. Bizarre trophy arm. That's it? All right, well, the only thing we can do now is head back to our cell. We already exerted everything we can, so the only thing we do is go back to our cell and just wait for Wait for that cop to come back. Okay, oh yeah, I don't need to look at that. Come on. Lay down. Since you're talking about you was tired. Now I guess we're just gonna sit here and wait. Nah, go to sleep, I guess. How can you go to sleep with your boyfriend two cells down from you growling and as a creature? Your eye gouged out and everything, just she left the door open, so maybe the, the cop would trust us now. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Yeah, my boy. Oh, he was out in that forest. Why didn't you run? Uh, we've got unfinished business. Um, 
I won't leave Max. Oh, oh these, these decisions are good. Because, I mean, yeah, we got unfinished business. He's not telling us what's going on. But at the same time, she I don't think she would leave her dude. So, <sighs> let's, let's just be honest. Because we try to be determined so many times. The company tells us. So let's just say we won't leave Max. I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn right, around, so. hands against the wall. Admires your dedication. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But I'm too tired to argue. Ugh. Me too. Okay, so apparently, like the two guys that appeared in episode two in this cop, it seems like that they are genuinely trying to help people, but from a perspective, uh, perception aspect, it well, seems like they're up to no good. So you made yourself at home. Oh, great. Now he doesn't trust us again. That's what you used to knock me out with, isn't it? This is dangerous. Could you not have used that on Max last night? Maybe I'd still have two good eyes. Yes. Mm. They said don't, don't get close. Yes, but it's really fucking hard to do. Okay. So now I'm locked in again. Oh my god. Can we get to where we get out of here? So it's back to normal. What's this? An education. Watch. It's not my boy. He got my boy in overalls. Oh, okay. Nice job cleaning up the eye. I mean, so he's talking to us. Oh, I'm going to drink a whiskey. Okay, it's harder than they make out in the textbooks, especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor, uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not, and I probably never will be I'm stuck in here forever. Okay. You know, just because you know, doesn't mean you know. You know? Then why don't you explain so, it to us? What? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. Yeah, right. I'm starting to get that. You're going to have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. Wait, We're just what? trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? His family? Not really. Is he related to those two guys in episode two? The old guy? Once and for all. The old guy and the, the big guy with the overalls? We? Yeah. Well, let's end it then. Okay. Fine, let's end it. Let Max and I go and we'll find someone who can help. Not what I had in mind. So what you gonna do with us, man? seriously asking for my help? I don't want you to help me. You're gonna do this for Max, and I'm gonna get what I need. Which is what? Just tell us what's going on, dude. Dang. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. Come on. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. 
One this by is one, where she's kidding. Slams to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should oh. you yourself be cursed, armed with silver, and the first. When moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight, or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. Scared of, um... No, I'm not gonna take the gun. I'm not gonna take the gun. We're just gonna keep reading. Scared of clear water. That's why Nick tripped out when he fell in a pool. With which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get yeah. picture. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I got it. Go on. I got it a long time ago. I see what's going on. And she being stupid now. Frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver. It has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward so, to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just so, want to next. Is he trying to kill? It's not as straightforward as you think. So, bruh, just tell us. God damn. Uh, obviously, I'm not affected because I didn't turn. So, why didn't you kill it? If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so. I'm, I, I was when I straightforward. No, yeah, it's so not. You... They're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you too. Okay, now he's lying. No. You're not telling us everything. I'm telling you everything you need to know. I don't believe you. But what if killing yeah. is an option? What if you had to use science? Use science. Science? Just like that. Oh, genius. Biological? Wait, I'll set an 80s montage going. I'm serious. Yeah, he's protecting somebody. Why is killing not an option? I think you're protecting someone. Mm-hmm. That thing is a relative of his or something. Look. Take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. <sighs> you gonna leave us for another day, bro? Seen enough? Is it the next day? I, I, oh, this dude. I blinked, so I thought it was like the next day already. Okay. So, I already caught the premise of it. I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't seen it, right? If I hadn't seen that. Yeah. So now we're on the same page now. Now we got the same we're on the same ball. No, I, I believe him. I believe him. I believe Facts him. are there. And, and we've seen it. We've seen We really trust that guy now. I didn't Max say that. Turn I said I believe into the damn thing. About the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything Max that fucking says. Max is dubious. Says. Nah. Nah, we gotta go with him. Now we gotta start trusting this. Well, what? not trusting the cop, but we gotta go on this good Fuck side. Him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. <sighs> Can we just get out of here and just that that be it? So I'm assuming Lord. they do break out of this. But yeah. hurry up and talk so I can talk. I saw what happened. What I did to, to your what? eye. Oh, he was aware of that? Yeah. Is it bad? Uh, it's gone. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. So these people that turn into these monsters, are they... Oh, these these decisions are getting good. You can see her eye through that gouge. You can see it. You see it? I can see it. That wasn't you. 
It's not like you're in control. I mean, yeah, it's not like he's, he's in control. It's not like you could have so. done anything to stop it from happening. It's not like you're in control. Oh, where are right? you? Right. Yeah. So, is it like when you're, they turn, they still... You're not in control? Of course not. Fuck. Laura, what are you saying? Is it, I'm just is trying it like to make the, sense of it. That's all. Hurry I'm up so I can talk! Quiet. Jesus. Is it that they can they can consciously still see and hear everything going on, but they just can't control their bodies? That that would be a trip. So now we're in August. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. Oh, Chris. Shit. Why? Why'd you think, wow. Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still Travis. here. Travis. Fucked up. Fucking bit one of them. Chris, what was I supposed to do? What was that? What? Uh. Uh. Woo! Hoo -hoo -hoo. You shot me. I'm telling mom. Thank you lucky stars wasn't silver. I'm telling mom. But you can't keep him here forever. Handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? He if I'd have done my Wally. job, you'd all be in prison. Did you ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. Are those know. hikers? And that, that, that fucking journalist? Damn it, Travis. What are we going to do now? Whatever happened oh, to what? you, we're all in this together. So they are brothers. Let's go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. Max. Uh, Max. Oh, okay. Come on, come on. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. <laughs> so? Was he here to let us out? No. Brad, do y'all seem out? He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit Whoa. you down in the storm shelter. Holy what? Shit, that's... Who would have guessed? That's why he has the... Thinking about it, I could have. And yet you didn't. That's why he has it the. It all makes sense. That's underground why door in his office. At the lodge that night, Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if, if Chris was the one that bit me, then. Yeah, then that's. You gotta kill here. Chris. You gotta kill Chris. That's how he fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow we're getting out of yeah. here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Well, obviously that's not gonna happen because you know you see in the first hey. episode that he made it. So help her. obviously that's not a thing. Help. But yo, Chris is the Laura. werewolf. Laura, are you okay? We really doing this? God damn it! We doing this right now? So Laura. how? Laura? Uh, are we gonna have to make a choice? Oh no, it's not gonna work. Okay, I guess so. I guess it does work. What you? He tried it. He tried it. I gotta be. I gotta make sure I'm on the sandbox too. You don't have to do this. Oh, psh. I think we might have to. No, nah, we're gonna be demanding. Shut, Shut up. Jeez. Now. I'm tired of being nice. Don't try nothing stupid. I'll pop you right here. I'm killing your. Um. Just plead. Let's plead. Just. Please. I really don't want to shoot you. If they give me another option, I'm gonna have to kill him. Come on. Okay. Okay. Come on. Fuck. I don't trust that. I don't trust that. Oh, give me him. Woo!
lock him in that cell, call it a day. We ain't gotta kill him, just lock him up. Leave him in there for weeks like he left us up in there for weeks. Yep, path has been chosen. All right, so we didn't kill him. We didn't have to kill him. So, but I do feel like they're gonna get out. I never knew you had it in you. And yeah, you did. Man, you better realize who you're talking to. But I feel like they're gonna escape, but then Max is gonna turn and then he's gonna run Laura. off into the night. And then that's Let's who's gonna be. What, doing. what the, Max? Why don't you take some time? Think about why you're in here. Max. Max, stop. He really, he really flinched at him. Now, nah, let's just apologize. I'm sorry. Yeah, leave me in there for a couple weeks. Like he did us. Anyways, so in the, up in the present with all the other campers, is it Max that's running around attacking everybody? We grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. Silver ammo? Where? What is it? Oh, somebody saying my name. I heard someone. No, I, I still can. Okay, so now it's that woman. How does the woman tie it's in with from these creatures that manifest? They did this to us. They did what? Oh, that's the door we couldn't get in. Oh, we got all the goodies in here. There's nobody in here. So. What the fuck? Okay, well, who cares? We got, we got nice shotgun thing. shells. What is it? They. Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last oh. month hunting. Silver? So like... Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Uh, still take it. What you talking hey. about? I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> We're not out this building yet. Um... No, not until Chris is dead. No, Max. We're not free until Chris Hackett is dead. Yeah, because otherwise he's going to keep turning. Time. I know, you're right, but let's just take the win for now, huh? We'll celebrate when it's uh, over. Yes. We're going straight to Hackett's quarry, and we're ending this tonight. Where are they at? Obviously, that didn't happen. Something goes wrong because. You know, like I said, episode one, Chris was there with all the campers, they made it through all this other stuff. I'm assuming they're gonna escape right now, but they're not gonna make it. Something's gonna happen to where they get stuck at night. Max is gonna turn, and either she escapes, and that's how she ends up with us in the present, or she ends up having to kill Max. And that creature that's in the wilderness, fighting us now, to camp. is Chris. Left Max at the island, seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. So he's still alive. That's it. That's the story. Oh, so now we're back to the present. And I'll jump in at the same time. Oh, okay. Wait. The so island now we all like know. The, like our island, like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob, he went back there looking for Emma and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. So that's Max. That's Max is doing that to them. They're probably fine. They're not there now. No, we're gonna be honest. Well, if they were there, they're not there now. What's that supposed to be? Don't make me spell it out for you. I've just come back from there and there's one werewolf and no people. Oh, fuck. All yeah. I know is yeah. I have to do this. I have to kill I know Jake is still alive, though. It's too late. After so where's Chris? Cool, after I shot 
Chris. Um, that was a Chris I went back shot. to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But... He wasn't? What happened? Wait, she saw... So she shot Chris before? I'm so lost on this right now. Okay, okay, okay. So this is... Okay, so now we're getting the story of... When they escaped, she left Max on the island, so this is her going off on her own. And uh, this is gonna lead up to when she met up with us. Cause remember, we had just saw her running, chasing something, chasing some, that poor, whoever she shot in that pool, that's where we met up with her. We saw her chasing that person and shooting her in the pool. Oh, and you get that, that music kicking in too, that real emotional, Ooh, Max? that music goes perfect with this atmosphere. Ooh, I'm getting chills right now. Is she gonna discover Emma's body Max. right here? He was up there in that trap house and Emma let him go. Max? Hello? Jump super high and lands on the boat with her. Oh, I thought he was about to do that. Yeah, just howling like a damn wolf now, all of a sudden. So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless I, I guess it turned back so after she I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how she turned to kill you. Show a bike. Show the bike. He tried. I got away. I need to end this. So, you gonna kill me now? We don't have much time. So... I mean, I feel like they would've saw it anyway. Her arm was just out there in the open. So she did end up getting... Who is this? <laughs> Who is this? Is that the mom of Hackett? Oh, uh, Chris and uh, so Trevor in there? Smell good, don't you? Go on, take a bow. So you gonna tease? Who is that? Dumb fucking animal. So, which one is that? And who the hell is she? Go. Let me fucking go! Get your hands off me! Oh, really? <laughs> nah, let's just please. Please, let me go! Okay, I need me for this to happen, please! Because. Please. How are you gonna call the cops? Oh my god, why aren't you answering me? Oh, 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 is your, is your money that you want? Cause, cause my dad's got money. Like lots of it. How are you? I mean, not so, really, but you can get is some. Is that old dude the oh, dad my... of Chris and Travis? <laughs> you just let me go, please. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 
Jacob, get it together, man. Obviously, they're not gonna let him go. That's that's clear. That's clear as day. But he wasn't bitten, though. That's the thing. Jacob wasn't bitten. His leg was caught in the bear trap, Bobby. but that's two. What are they doing? What are hey. they trying to do? Hey! Hey, where are you going? Hey! Hey! I, I'm so, I'm a bit confused. So who's that? Oh, shit. Is that Max? I guess we'll find out when they turn back, probably. That music kick in. They got heating lamps? Or what it? That's what it looks like. Heating. Oh my god. I want to see it turn back. I need to know who that is. Wait! Is that Emma? Is it Emma? What? What are we doing? Ah, oh, that has to be Emma. So I feel like Max was the one that attacked Emma. Nosey Emma right turned the captured her. Poking your nose. Uh, excuse me. Belong. Don't believe uh, everything you hear. Anyway. Okay. Here we are again. Whatever. Let's see what you brought me this time, shall we? Okay. We got got two of them. The chariot. The chariot. At the reins of a chariot, we would all feel safer. Taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant, but in some cases, foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots. But perhaps, in some cases, they're not as safe as we think they are. Okay. Ah, the world. <laughs> Often travelers' paths are direct, but sometimes it is not so simple. Sometimes they're intertwined with others. Compassion over anger. You'll need friends where you're going. It's not until we fall into the belly of the beast that we realize how perilous things can be. And the same okay. question as always. Will you let me show you more? Yes! I need all the help! Yes, let's get Chariot it. Chariot or world? Only one future can be seen. Damn. Choose. Oh. See, I could have just picked one. We'll go with the world. Alright. You'll be seeing okay. a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that. As long as you follow the right path. Of course. Right, okay, so obviously Ryan and Laura's gonna go off somewhere and then Ryan's gonna fall through. Looks like they were heading back to the lighthouse. Chapter seven done. We on chapter eight, baby. The belly of the beast. Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. What a rude. Guys, she murdered huh, Rude. We have been over this. Yeah, let's talk to Caitlin. Uh, Caitlin, what do I do? Oh, wow, real strong showing on the leadership front. I said shut up. <laughs> oh, no way, I'm not you. getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Look, just think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. I'm convinced, Karis. No, you Hold said up. you heard a woman, so. You said you heard a woman crying? When you escaped? Why? Because we heard a woman. What do you know? It's the ghost story he told us about, right, Caitlin? This isn't a ghost story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening, and you're all in it. Your bracelet. Yeah, it's facts.
It's silver. No, no, what, what are you, are you doing? doing? I'm trying to help. Worst case scenario, this should give you a fighting chance. And this will kill them? For good? Yeah. No, but... Wait, what was well, what it? If it's oh! Or like I said, she... worst case scenario. She put the silver in the shotgun shell. Ryan, put that fucking thing down before you hurt someone. So... Okay. Come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. I don't think none of us know. Uh... Let's be mean with it. I mean, I wouldn't tell you. Real mature. He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! Oh, damn. What? How long has I been there? Uh, let's go with, have you thought about not killing him? Have you thought about, you know, not killing him? Uh, I'm thinking about not killing you. What? Oh. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's been- How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? Don't forget about Nick, dude. Yeah, Nick is okay, out there. any closer one of the spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. Yeah, because then she'll turn. I'm going with you. What? what? Dealing with- Uh... Yeah, what they said. And they all just let like, the subtitles kick in. What? Chris has nothing to do with this. There's no way I'm letting a going. murdering fugitive like you go anywhere near Chris on your own. Wow, are you flirting with me? What? No. <laughs> Fine, do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. And then old boy Dylan lost his hand, so he would have turned too. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to. Yeah, not only means to escape. Get somewhere safe. Now without that rotor arm, it's in the water. An hour or two, I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. And it's starting to kick in with the rain too. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? Hmm. Have you be actually been there before? It. I mean, no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. I mean, she can't be too suspicious. She I got a gun, so I ain't like... It. This rage, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit. And Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Yeah, but he hey, needs to die. Hey, jeez. Teacher's pet. Why are Still you like this? Still needs to die, though. <laughs> Why are you like this? No one knows anybody. Uh, let's be I provoking. should ask you the same thing. What do you mean? Why are you really here? I can't let you just shoot him. I'm not going to. Why? I'm going to shoot a werewolf, which he definitely is, by is the way. Is not. Is too. It's not. Jesus. Ryan doesn't want to believe it for some reason. Why? 
and it's a full moon too. So I wonder why she has a turn. Maybe the night you get bit on a full there moon, you don't turn or something. That's, that's, that's house. weird. So he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. I've never been there. But. His mom? So that I mean, is his mom. That lady is his mom. Probably the best place to start. And that's probably where that red so, area is at, where uh, they took uh, uh, Jacob. How do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? In. That's a really good question. You better hop that. Oh, that's Bob Boy. I was gonna say you could just hop that fence. You but just don't. Man. Uh, let's be a little compassionate Look, about it. I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura. Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and Okay, we got right. that. How can you The fact so is he is a I werewolf. I let my conscience slow me down now. Everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. But there ain't. Hey, where are you going? Your own timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. I got you. Oh, right here. The vision. Oh. oh! Wait, is she affected by the water because she got bitten? Oh shit! Are you okay? Wait! Does she not like the water? Yeah, she don't like the water, huh? Is it starting? It stalks your breath but shuns clear water. Oh my god, Laura. Is it mutating? Jesus, Mary and Jazz hands. What? Oh. Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax. Look. Oh. Oh, big eyes. She got her eyes grandma. back. No shit. Can you see you in the, my eyes? Whoa, whoa. To find Did the yellow? water cure? Cure her? We haven't got much time. Yeah, so she's about to turn. So she got her eyes back. Yo, hey, we gotta leave it right here, y'all. That's gonna do it for episode four, guys. There's so much to take in. It wasn't really as, I guess you could say, action packed as far as like scary moments. There was like one or two jump scares. But this episode was more informative than anything else. We finally got a little bit more lore to what's going on. So essentially the Hackett family has something to do with this, this creature, this curse that goes around. Obviously Travis, which is the officer, and uh, Chris, they're brothers. Chris is the werewolf. He was the werewolf we saw in episode one. So that's why Travis didn't want to kill him because he feels like there's another way to cure him. That old lady that came at the uh, uh, in the middle though, that must be their mother. It must be their mom. I'm assuming that the old dude is the father. And they're doing the overalls. It's either the big brother or maybe uh, a young brother to the dad. And he's the uncle of Chris and Travis. I don't know. And then Laura here killed Kaylee, which was the daughter of uh, Chris. How is she a werewolf too or whatever? I don't know. But regardless, we're heading over. I feel like this house that we're about to get into is where they're Jacob and the other creatures being kept. I'm calling it right now. I feel like that creature is Emma, but I think we're gonna have to figure that out next episode. So in the next episode, as you can see, we were trying to get into the house, but we fell through a wooden board all the way down to what looks like, like an underground lair. So it's just Laura and Ryan. This is a perfect cliffhanger to leave it on, guys. I'm excited to pick this back up in episode five because I wanna know where we're at, where we're gonna end up, and what's gonna be the overall outcome once we get out of here. If you guys don't wanna miss the next episode, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit all bell notifications so you are notified when I upload episode five because it's getting crazy. We get into the meat of the bone, you guys, and it's only gonna get more crazy from here. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care, guys, and I'ma see you in the next video.